the bonnet's up, which usually means not good. But in this case, good! Good news, everybody! Um, there is a vibration through the steering column. It's had it from day one. I did the engine mounts, didn't do the hydro mount. I'm going to have another go at that. Um, but the vibration through the steering column have remained. So I had all the shrouds off. Shroud, shroud. Um, to discover that the steering column was actually loose. The bolts holding it on were hand tight. So I tightened all those down to factory torque specification in the Haynes manual. Probably doesn't exist. Um, and it improved greatly, but there is still a vibration through the steering wheel. And it's only noticeable at idle, no other time at all. But what I have noticed is, uh, it probably won't even show up, but we'll give it a go, is this. Steering wheel's loose. Just a little bit, but it's enough, and it's enough to transfer a vibration. So, I'm going to tighten up the steering wheel. And for that, obviously the bonnet's open, and the negative terminal has been removed from the battery. And now we'll just wait in 10 minutes uh, for the all the electrical magicals to dissipate because there are obviously capacitors in the system and all that lot which store electric for a small amount of time um i do know people that refurb steering columns and stuff like that and they never disconnect battery basically because they've never had an airbag go off an airbag has to receive basically a signal from a sensor which are on the sides the, um, the, of the car and the front of the car and what have you um, if you've ever stripped the carpets out of a car you'll see them and um, basically that goes to an ECU which controls the airbag and the safety restraint systems you know the explosive charges in the seat belts and shit like that technical shit um, basically it needs a, a, a signal from one of those to fire an airbag usually and it has to be sort of like an extremely rapid stop for instance an emergency brake uh, application should not fire off an airbag but if you were braking as hard as you can and then all of a sudden you stopped extremely suddenly i.e hit something that's when the sensor which is a shock sensor sends the command to the computer and the computer goes i suppose we better deploy an airbag then and it deploys the airbag um but you know safety third and all that will disconnect the battery it's only for like 10 minutes and it's been five minutes already um before we work on it and what it is on the rover this is river sim 5 on the rover it is you'll have two torx screws because german influence uh, the mercedes is all torx fasteners the audi was all torx fasteners and there's quite a few on a rover 75 because obviously built with bmw money bmw uh engineering influence and they love a torx fastener and i believe the ones on the back of the wheel if i'm reading this correctly are a if you can see it a t30 or at least that's the one that fucking fits um now they can be fucking tight so i've used a very very small little tube extension on the end to get them undone once they're undone they'll come out easy enough and then that will remove this section here and then there'll be uh an airbag a yellow airbag connector behind it with a clip on it you take that off take the airbag out um, and then we can tighten the nut and then um it's the reverse of basically and then um if you read the haynes manual it's really funny because they say like wear wear a bomb disposal outfit when putting the battery back together um but basically you reconnect the battery and then you've got to make sure you haven't disturbed any airbag warning lights and all this lot you shouldn't have um and basically it says lower the window and insert the ignition keys through the window to make sure nobody's in the car and all this lot because people are shit scared of legislation this is all legislation i mean we've worked on like electric prototypes before where they want you to wear a face shield and industrial rubber gloves and all this lot just to charge up an electric car and stuff like that because the shit scared of what could happen you got more chance of winning the lottery to be honest but there you go um and speaking of lottery wins i'm going to win this friday's 180 something million pound jackpot and then we're going to have a bigger shed 
and then we won't be able to be called shoestring shed hmm years anyway cross that bridge when we come to it so that's what i'm doing today uh, the screws on the back of the wheel do not come out they are uh, retained within the wheel so you just have to loosen them yes go you can see the screws still in there they're retained yes there's the center nut which we need to try and tighten one airbag connector that's your wiring loom connector for your horny buttons and your stereo buttons and all that jazz baby um there's a connector on the back car oh, which is you can prise that up and pop it out or i'm guessing you could probably pop it out the nair and there will go here so let's see i'm gonna get in the way here anyway yes i think i need to go and find a little seal pick Thicko. Uh, oh shit on the lens that's getting to be a common channel feature shit on the lens um i've just thought because i'm only just tightening the nut up um i don't actually need to completely remove the, the bag unit um so this 17 mil by the looks of it so I'm, I'm going to see if i can get a bit of a grunt on it so i'm going to put you on the door there and hopefully you can see can you see can you see children can you i don't care if you can't right Lefty loosey righty tighty. Is that 17? 17 feels a bit fucking loose to me. It ain't 17 then, Jim Bob. Should we go for a. It feels a. That, that's the looseness of the socket on the nut, by the way. Uh, we're going to have to go and get another socket. Right, it's 16 mil. <laughs> I thought I'd, uh, I'd try it off camera before I made a total donk of myself. So yes, it's it's um, it's, it's, it's oh look, smoked leather and ice. Sounds like a very very bad porno rip off of Game of Thrones. So there you go, you can go back on there. Look, <laughs> high level editing skills there. Lovely door ledge. And we'll see if we can get a bit of a twistage on this. Yes, is the word. Wasn't super loose. Nice. Uh, so reassembly is reversal. Airbag unit in there. It sits, it's on these nice rubbers and shit. Technical term. And then uh, whack the screws in from the back. Put the battery back on. Remembering to wear our bomb disposal outfit. Uh, six Hail Marys. Uh, Pre-write pre your will and all that bollocks. So, yes. 11.2. Interesting that, which suggests... Well, I don't know. Is it a date code? Is it a part code? Who knows? Because as far as I know, Rosie was built in either June or July 02, I think. I might have got that completely wrong. Anyway, I did look it up and, uh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Right, so let's let's get this back then. Let's get you back on your perch. Just make sure you don't catch anything. Not that there's anything to catch, to be honest. But there you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Bang! I oh, got you, didn't it? Right. The awkwardest part is actually. getting the torx key into the head of the torx screw because they're in a bit of a angle of dangle i think i've got that either that or i'm tightening up fresh air which has happened before that's one snugged down and as usual because it's behind the steering wheel there is no visibility at all that's just gone in i've just felt it <laughs> there we go that's that lovely lovely and we'll just give it a, a friendly tweakage there we go uh, torque setting german couldn't die terrible joke i know but i'm going to continue to use it because it amuses me so right oh look at those sexy veins mm, mama Okay, that's that done. So now 
we can uh, reattach the battery. So uh, yes, uh, I might. Uh, oh, I can't leave you on the fucking door because I've got to open the door to get out. What a silly twat! I'll put that there, so uh, you can see what's going on. And we reattach the battery. Oh, I left the keys inside, you rank bloody amateur. As per the Haynes manual, oh god, we're all going to die. Uh, safety stipulation, I'm going to step outside the car whilst turning the ignition on. There we go. You are now. Oh, copyright strike. No airbag light. Oh, and uh, <laughs> look at that expert camera work as usual. Um, yes, I nearly soiled myself when I reconnected the battery. Not because it made any silly noises or sparked or anything like that, which always makes me jump anyway. Um, but. Um, <sighs> A while ago I bought this uh, cordless ratchet uh, from it was either Amazon or eBay one of those things and it's been worth its weight in gold it saves so much time it's unreal especially as you get older and you haven't you can't be doing that for half an hour and every every bolt this is brilliant but um, both the battery packs went duff and I thought, bollocks, I'll rip them apart and have a look, because why not? If it doesn't work, I'm not going to break it anymore. And uh, the positive wires in the battery packs had both come uh, like unsoldered. So I've resoldered them, and it's worked perfectly ever since. But what I <laughs> failed to put back in, there's, a, there's, a, there's a, like an on and off switch there. And it's not an on and off switch, it just locks the trigger. And I took that off, and of course, uh, when I set it down besides the battery after I tightened the terminal up um, it decided to fire off and I nearly shat myself so anyway that's it today um, yes just tightening up the steering wheel I got a little squeak out of it and it's still yeah there's a bit there so I might at some point uh, take the shroud off and have a look just to see if there's anything come uh, lock and done again under the shroud but uh, other than that, like, what the fuck is that? Anyway, yes, yes, no words needed. Ta-ra!